How's it going guys? Dylan from If Cars Could Talk and I hope everyone's doing well today. Now I found myself in a tiny bit of a predicament. You see there's only one of me and somehow I have three cars. Today is going to be a little bit of an update on why I'm selling that thing right over there and how the hell I have, well, two of those things. technically have like a mini car collection right now and all of them are very different. I have a classic, I have an electric mini midget car, and I have James Bond's Aston Martin, which is pretty cool combination, but again, I don't really need all of these things. Then a need is, is a strange word, isn't it? We need oxygen, we need water, we need shelter, we need food. I, actually, maybe I do need it. Yeah, I need cars actually to survive. That's what makes me happy. And I think I just had a small blackout and this ended up happening. Now, just to walk you through, before I tell you why I'm selling my Aston Martin, or why I have to sell it, uh, I just wanna tell you, first of all, a little bit about each car, why I have them, and uh, how I got them. Now, to start off, let's go to my smart car. All right, so this is the Smart. It is the fully electric version. They dropped all the gasoline ones. Uh, this is my uh, granola sandal uh, tree-hugging, earth-saving vehicle right here. And it's a really quite a bit of fun. It's a full convertible. I've murdered it out with the tail lights, the script, whatever it is. I've got a quirky little uh, license plate too. And it's quite a cool car. Uh, it's full leather interior, and this is actually my most modern car, ironically. I feel like I'm spoilt in this car because I have Bluetooth, I have seat heaters, all these things, which, well, let's be honest, the Aston and the Porsche do not. And uh, really, this fulfills kind of a daily for me. I can't take it on long trips because it has terrible range issues, uh, but it's a really fun car. Uh, people either laugh at me while I'm in it because I'm, you know, I'm quite a tall individual, but at the same time, I feel like I've got the whole world figured out when I'm driving it because it always makes me smile. God, I'm a little big for this. This is what safety regulation bumpers are. They're for people with big butts, not for crash safety. But anyway, I have a little bit of a confession for you. Now, you guys know I'm not a big vlogger. I don't really like seeing my face on the camera. It's not that I hate my face. I'm just not a narcissist, so I'm not a great vlogger from that point of view. I like to talk about cars, but at the same time, we all kind of have a relationship together. You guys are, uh, you know, if you're watching me, we're, we're almost friends, and uh, you deserve to know about what our car situation is. Maybe not what underwear I'm wearing, but the car situation. Now, I have a... Confession, as I mentioned, I have bought this vintage Porsche from my pops. Uh, it's a car you guys all know. It's been on Seen Through Glass. It's been on Smoking Tire. Uh, and it's been in a lot of videos. And originally, a while ago, I said I was going to sell it. And I just can't. Uh, I absolutely love this thing. Uh, it's a Turbo S Silver Rose. Not to tell you how special I am or whatever it is. But basically, just to walk around it quickly. They made a thousand Turbo S's for 1988. Uh, has all these race components, bigger turbo, uh, adjustable suspension, all these things. I've gone through it, uh, but the Silver Rose also has this color interior, and uh, I've got to get it fixed a bit and the paint. This is for me is going to be my my fun car. This fulfills my soul because, as I said, I'm selling this, and so this is really what I wanted in the meantime. It's going to be something that I can work on. It's going to be something that's going to make me smile. It's going to be a manual, which I always need a manual in my life. In fact, this is the car I learned manual on. And it's in pretty good condition still, but it does need a little bit of love. Uh, but I ended up buying it because, you know, I thought it'd be a shame giving this to anyone else. Uh, obviously, they haven't climbed yet as much as I want. 944s are still going to go up because all the 911s are bought up. It's turning into a really long segment, sorry. But 
Uh, it's just a car that uh, does it for me. I love the 80s and they made 381 of these. So I think it's a car that will be fun to sit on and it's a car that fulfills me in many ways. And look, it's a classic car. How cool is that to be in your 20s and drive something from the 80s? So it's honestly a lot of fun from that perspective. So this is my new car and this fulfills the gap that this is going to leave. Let's go on to why the hell I have to sell it. Right, so now we are in my 2006 Aston Martin Vantage, which is for sale by the way, so you know, if you're interested, I'll put a link below. It's a car that's been very loved, used, maintained, cared for, whatever word you wanna use for it's in good shape, it just is, it's got great paint, all the service history, everything, and unfortunately because of all that, it makes it an ideal car to own, maybe not to sell, because you know, whenever you sell cars, you never know what the hell you're gonna, in, you know, what you're in for. Usually someone's got some secret about it or some accident. Unfortunately for me, it's a perfect car, so I'm getting rid of something that's really meant to be owned, honestly, at this point. It's just, it's all there, it's all sorted, it's, you know, I've owned it for four years, and, uh, but you know, it's time to let it go. Uh, main reason being is I just uh, I just want something a little different. Um, I want the money maybe to invest in properties and things like that so that eventually I can own things like Huracans. Uh, because this car addiction is not the most practical thing in the world, especially when you're in your 20s like me. Uh, you know, I don't have millions and billions of dollars, um, but I'm trying to save up and be a good little boy and invest in some properties and selling this as part of that. Now, because I'm selling this and it is my sporty going car, I needed something to fill that and that's why I have the Porsche now. And obviously the Porsche can't be a daily driver and that's why I have the Smart, yet the Smart can't drive far distances. Now you understand how stupid I am, but I mean these car things, this car tradition, this hobby was never supposed to be practical. In essence, all we need is a Honda Civic to get around from A to B but how sometimes we like to skip B and go to C. And you know what? That's part of the fun of this hobby. So in essence, it's really sad to let my Aston go. It was a dream car, I got it when I was 23, and to get an Aston when you're 23 is a dream come true. I still drive this car in the street and get looks in it, and I still feel like James Bond when I'm driving it. It sounds like thunder, it looks like sex, and it handles incredibly well too. It's not the fastest thing on planet Earth, but it's like a really, really nice Miata from that point of view. And it has the clear tail lights, which is cool. And I've done the spacers, the tail, uh, I mean the antenna delete and everything like that. It's just a really solid, sorted car. And sorry, I don't mean to be a salesman here, but it's just a great car. So whoever does end up getting it, um, you know, as I said, you're gonna be in a great position. When you sell a car, Sometimes you don't tell things, you know, and sometimes there are things that are wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's absolutely perfect. Um, it's a little higher on the miles. That's the only thing I would say about it that, you know, kills the value. Anyway, I'll put a link below for that. But basically, this is my car situation. I don't know how it came to this, but I literally have three hunks of metal. And uh, it's pretty, pretty crazy. I'll walk around this as well real quick. Not much of a trunk, but uh, no curb rash. Look at the paint. It's been fully ceramic coated. Um, and I'll show you the interior. Fully leather. And most importantly, it's manual. So uh, yeah, it's a solid car to look into. But anyway, that is my car collection. That's a bit weird to say. All right guys, now before we say goodbye to the Aston, I thought it'd be kind of cool since I have gotten myself into a bit of a situation with all these things, I might as well take a picture with all these things. I thought it'd be quite cool to just have them all lined up and uh, we'll have my mug in front of them. So let's move all the cars and get them in one spot. So we have them all lined up right now. We're just gonna move the Smart a little over to the left. Here, come a little left. But that looks so cool already. Uh, you're going right. Oh yeah, 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 no, that's actually good. You're smart. Yeah, reverse like that. Smart, smart. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Now straight. Perfect, maybe leave it like that. Actually, come a little forward. Little forward. Stas, yeah, perfect. Yeah, this looks sick. With the Aston, the Smart, and the Porsche lined up. How the hell did I get in this situation? This really looks pink right now in this lighting, by the way. Silver rose. 
We thank you to the bro ham for doing it. So that is it. A bit of a short video today. Um, a bit different as well. Didn't tell you any old car stories, which I usually like to stick on. But hell, at least it wasn't a five things, because that's just a bunch of bull. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you liked it. I hope you like the cars. Let me know what your favorite is, or what you hate, or you know what you're excited about. This is going to be a nice project car as well. Maybe I'll do some videos with that. Uh, but we'll get back to the car story soon. I just wanted to give you guys an update, let you into my life a little bit here. And, uh, God, my arm's getting tired. And, yeah, so, anyway. If, uh, what is, what do I have to say usually? Oh, yeah. Um, if you want to see what type of equipment I use, Amazon links below. If you want to see more things on, well, where I'm on or what I'm on, I can't speak today. I'm, of course, on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And what else? Oh, if you like the video, give it a like. If you want to see more of my content, please do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.